when you look at the market overall and the evolution of investment companies, especially mutual funds, it's really changed a lot. And I think going back to 2008 was really a landmark recession because what we found was the retail investor could not handle that 30, 35% drawdown. And we had alternative products that really came about to really reduce volatility, reduce risk, maybe less returns, but a smoother ride so investors could still enjoy the upside of the equity market and you know, have a little more security. And now here we are in 2013, and really for most people they have in their allocations, the bonds are the safe portion of their portfolio. Well, earlier this year with you know, yields at all-time lows, how safe are bonds? And I think as you can see, you know, long-term bonds could be down as much as 10% this year. You know, there's a need to have a greater allocation, have a substitute for bonds in your allocation. So these alternative products, whether it be long, short, fixed income, whether it be um, using options to reduce risk, in other ways is lowering risk to make it a safe part of your portfolio as a substitute, at least partially, for fixed income products. And we're seeing a lot of those funds coming out right now. Three, four, five years ago, they were all relatively new, and there was a really big first to market, and so it was hard to really judge them. But you know, some of these products have been out three to five years, so you can actually see a performance track record. You know, and some of these advisors are really good at educating the uh, marketplace. So we have clients that have like, you know, alternative university and really just do a lot of education about their strategy, about the products. And that's what advisors really need to do. They need to look at the strategies themselves. If possible, look at longer term track records, maybe not even the fund itself, but, you know, products they may manage like that. And then you know, the market's maturing a bit now, so you can actually see track records for some of these funds. You know, in some of the cases, in other, these advisors have track records that go back 20 years. So you can really see a long-term trend. You know, they've always existed, but they were always hedge funds or LPs or CTAs and you know, numerous other names that they've been called. So these products have always been out there, but they were more for the um, qualified investor. But now that they're coming out in the retail mutual funds, you know, they're really coming out for the retail investor also. In a perfect world, if equities have the best performance, if you held equities for 30 years, that's probably the best strategy. But for most people, they don't have a 30-year time horizon or they cannot um, suffer the volatility of equity markets. So what these products really do is, is that they reduce volatility, um, enhance performance, we're basically smoothing over short-term periods. So it, it may actually reduce performance over the long run, but it just may make the experience much better. And that's why I think these alternative products are very important because you know, just talking to people, my friends, family, you know, they talk about the equity markets and it's the same thing always. When the equity markets are doing great, everybody's jumping in thinking that easy money and when the markets are down, they want to sell. And you know, I think there's all kinds of studies showing that while equity markets may average 8%, the average investor averages 3%, but they always time the market incorrectly. And these products are just really made so you can have a better asset allocation so that people can be long-term investors by having a really more holistic allocation to assets.